Revolutionaries coming to you today talking about something very important in regards to your self-defense. Um, it isn't anything necessarily to do with a firearm, but it has more to do with your response and how you pay attention to things in a self-defensive situation. What we're talking about today is the OODA loop. This stands for observe, orient, decide, and act. These are critical components um, in any situation or what the human brain does when presented with a threat or negative situation or even just being startled. Your mind is your primary operation or thing that's going to help you make decisions to defend your life if you unfortunately have to use a, your, you know, your firearm or any type of self-defense situation. When something happens, you have to observe it first, right? That's part one, observe. See what's going on. You have to orient yourself to that. Okay, this bad thing is happening. I've determined that it's bad or good. Now I have to orient to determine what I'm going to do. I've oriented myself. I got my shit together. Now the next step is deciding. Okay, I've observed. It's bad. I've oriented myself. I'm kind of close to this potential bad thing. I've decided that I have to move forward and get away from this thing. Either that's concealment or cover or react or whatever that decision is going to be. And whenever you come to that, you have to act. In a self-defensive situation, the OODA loop works two ways. One, for you. And two, the other person has one as well. You want to make those decisions as swiftly and efficiently as possible. You want to do things, even as preventative maintenance, to slow someone, an attacker, or anyone that means you harm, to slow down their OODA loop as much as possible. Now, what's an example of that? If someone puts your life in imminent danger, in that process, you have to reach for your firearm. While reaching for that firearm, you want to what's known as step off of the X, meaning X marks the spot. You're the spot when the bad guy's trying to harm you. So you want to step off of the X. It's harder to hit a moving target because now that attacker's brain, they have to process not where you are standing stationary, but where you're going. So now it's harder, especially if this person doesn't train, it's harder for them to throw that bat at you, stab you, throw a round at you, whatever that is. So you want to get off of the X to slow up the time for them to observe you, orient what they're gonna do, decide, and then act on it. You wanna slow up their loop. How do we speed up our loop? The best answer is to train. We train to identify threats, evaluate what they are, and even in your drive practice to make sure that you're able to get clear your garment, get to your firearm, present it, and stop the threat or whatever means that you are going to use to stop a threat in a self-defensive situation. That repetition is the best way to create that smoother neurotransmission from your brain to what muscles need to react through thousands of reps of repetition. That's why drive practice is important. I'm in the car right now, the truck. By practicing driving when I was first learning to drive, I know that the brake is on the left, the gas is on the right. I don't have to look to see where my brakes and gas are at this point because I've done this repetition thousands, maybe even millions of times. That repetition is tra training your brain to get a signal from the brain to the muscles involved and making your leg pick up, your feet push down, your tibia get involved, your calves, everything involved to push that brake at the uh, appropriate amount of pressure to make that vehicle stop. Bam, that deer comes in front of the car. I'm probably going about 50 miles per hour. Yes, I am close to this. I have to decide to slam on the brakes and then I act. That speed of that OODA loop happens much more rapidly, almost subconsciously, because of the thousands upon millions of reps of practice of pushing brakes, knowing where the brakes and gas are, estimating how far I am from things, knowing the speed that I'm going, all of these things. That's a form of training to speed up the OODA loop when you need it. When you get out of your vehicle, evaluating what your plan is gonna be. Just making a mental note or a mental repetition of, I'm gonna get out of my vehicle, I've scanned, some things look a little strange, doesn't necessarily mean danger, but if it is danger, I know where I'm gonna go. I know what exits to get out of the locations that I am. I'm completely paying attention during the time that I'm in this transitional space from one location to the next. All of these things are to give us somewhat of a map, a mental map, that if something does happen, we already have a pre-existing plan that we've worked through to speed up our OODA loop. Hope this was helpful to everyone. Please subscribe, youtube.com forward slash Black Guns Matter, youtube.com forward slash Maj2Ray. 
We want to make sure that everyone's picking up the Black Guns Matter app. Crowdfunding efforts, gofundme.com forward slash Black Guns Matter. Tell us some information in the comment section about the OODA loop, what you know about it, some questions that you may have, and everybody in the comment section will help each other. Be safe, be solution. My plug, sometimes we speak off. Hello, cause I cherish my relationships.